Hello everybody, we have a special off cycle video for you today. Gabriel is now 35 weeks and 7 days, so 36 weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Gabriel is now 36 <laughs> weeks old and that is special because he was born when I was only 35 weeks, 6 days pregnant. So he has now been out of the womb for one day longer than he was in it. So we thought we would do a special video telling you about his birth story. So keep watching if you want to see more. And no, we're not going to get graphic or anything, promise. Theme song. <laughs> very first video that we uh, got pregnant through IVF so we got pregnant very unnaturally so to speak <laughs> so it was really important for us to have a natural birth with no interventions or medications we signed up for a natural birth class called birth boot camp and it was a 10-week program and we learned everything we could about having a natural birth and a lot of tools and resources so that was our plan, the good Lord willing that nothing would be bad, no complications. We hired a doula because we wanted to have that support as well. So my due date was January 31st and on the morning of January 2nd, my water broke, and that, which was a total of four weeks early, which we knew was a possibility because we do uh, infertility treatments. Uh, you have the possibility of delivering early. So we knew that was on the table, but everyone, even our doctor, assured me that because I was a first-time mother, I would not be delivering early. Hmm. <laughs> I could go past my due date. Everyone said that. So we weren't concerned about it. Therefore, we weren't quite 100% ready. <laughs> we were not ready at all. Well, we had like <laughs> basic ready things, but we had packed a hospital bag. That's how unready we were. They give us 3% preparedness. <laughs> So I'm asleep and my water breaks at about 6.45 in the morning and I lay there for a good 30 minutes convincing myself that, that was not what would have, had happened because it was too early. We were a month early. So when I finally decided to get up and investigate, my water had in fact broken. And I realized I was in labor. <laughs> so Jacob is asleep through all of this. I go over to him and I... Shake him away, can I no, say? No, you did You hollered at me from the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> did I? Yeah, the bathroom door was open, and you and you said, baby, and I jumped up. He said, my water just broke. And I don't know if I was, I said, really? Or, it can't, you can't have, it can't, because I just remember thinking, we're not ready today was the day we were supposed to get ready. <laughs> we can't have a baby today. But yeah, you, you hollered at me from the bathroom. So that led to, I threw myself out of bed and immediately. <laughs> Didn't know what to do. We just kind of. Just ran around the house. Okay. Um, okay. Because <laughs> in our birth, in our class, it was, you know, they, they tell you your water will break and then you're going to have, you're going to labor for 15 to 20 hours. And when your water breaks, you need to go straight back to sleep and you need to sleep and rest and do all this yeah. stuff eat something eat and make sure you know and especially of course, if you're a first-time mom because your labor is gonna last for days on end yeah and it, 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 it isn't knock in the class because we absolutely loved it but of course it it's almost described like you're sitting in the Garden of Eden and animals are surrounding you and it's this beautiful time music organically just floats down from the air <laughs> and you know and it would <laughs> for us it wasn't quite like that because Sarah like her water broke <laughs> And the con the contractions. Oh well, we called the doctor and told them that my water broke. And she asked me if I was having contractions, and not until she asked me did I realize that I was having them. And we started timing them, and they were like three minutes apart from the get go. Yeah, she. So you know, they're supposed to be like well, like fifteen minutes. I mean, really <laughs> start far apart. slow. And we're like, okay, she's gonna have contractions, and you know, they're gonna be really far apart. We do all but we kind of woke up. Sarah's water broke and then she got out of bed and she was already at like 
hour 15 of the labor process. I mean, everything was already happening. So we didn't have anything packed. We we planned on packing our our hospital bag and getting that all of day. that stuff ready that day. <laughs> we were going, we were going to the store to buy things. You know, we were going to pack up the bags, go ahead and put them in the car. <laughs> because that's what everybody had said. You know, just go ahead and put everything in the car. I had already installed the car seat, so that was already done. But everybody said, put it in the car, get everything ready. You know, in case you need to run to the hospital real quick. And and we were going to do that that day, so we didn't have anything packed. You got to be gentle. And our plan, our birth plan, consisted of laboring at home as long as possible. And then once our doula thought it was time to go to the hospital, then we would go. Which we did, in fact, labor at home as long as possible. Unbeknownst <laughs> to us. Sarah labored while I threw things into a duffel bag. Oh, I also packed. And I, and, and one of the tips our doula had given us was bake cookies for the, the nurses, the labor nurses. You know, they'll... They'll like you more if you have cookies. And Jacob makes excellent chocolate chip cookies. I was going to make cookies. So, <laughs> while, I'm down, I'm so like, while he's packing, he's making a grocery list. I was like, well, Because I, he I still gotta... intends to make cookies. Well, and in my mind, we're not... I, I was like, okay, we still have some time. We're still laboring at home. We have... But the doctor had told us, you're a month early. Come to the hospital. Yeah. So we were packing to go to the hospital. <laughs> but he was still convinced he was going to make cookies. Well, and I, and I was thinking if we get there and, the doc, and they, they check you and they send her home and we have to stay home for a couple hours, and then I was like, okay, that'll be my chance. I'll make the cookies then. I didn't get to make the cookies. We get to the hospital and we don't even bring our stuff in with us because we're fully prepared for them to tell us, oh, you're like a one. Go ahead and go home and labor some more. So we don't even bring our bags in with us. But we get in. We tell them I'm a month early. The doctor's already called the hospital to prepare them for our arrival. And they go ahead and have me gown up and get into a room. And we realize at that point, this may be happening. They do the initial check, and I'm already dilated to a four. And the nurse calmly looks at us and says, you're going to have this baby today. <laughs> you're staying. Because so. she knew we were kind of like, we embarrassed so well. <laughs> we were we halfway we might have to this. leave. And she she's kind of looks at it and goes, oh, you're staying. And we're like... <laughs> Okay, this is happening. So, meanwhile, I'm having contractions, and they're two minutes apart at this time. <laughs> so Jacob furiously calls and texts all of our family members, letting them know that it's you know it's D Day, it's Labor Day, it's happening today. And Sarah's mom <laughs> had booked a flight for a few days before the, the due date, the scheduled due date, because she was going to come in, be here, and labor and help Sarah through the labor process and everything, and. Uh, so I had to tell her, well actually I had called her that, I had called her and I called my parents while we were still at the house and I said, this is happening, we're going to the hospital, we'll update you a little you later and everything. And um, so I called her back after they said you're staying and she said, okay, I'm on my way to the airport. And she was able to get a flight for that day. And her flight was supposed to land at like... 1 30 or 1. Something. So I knew that. Right at lunchtime. In the back of my head the whole time. Our doula arrived probably about 15 minutes after we did, so that was great. She was able to come in for it um, and be there, and she was wonderful. She was so helpful. She immediately made it a calm, peaceful environment. She had a whole bunch of different birthing balls. Uh, once they had. The initial check was done. I had to be on the monitors for a little bit. I was able to go on to the external fetal monitor. <laughs> and I was really looking forward. Ow! It hurt. It hurt. It hurt. It hurt. He, has, he has four teeth. Okay, here you go. So I was uh, able to get off of all the monitoring and I was really looking forward to being able to walk around the hospital. And that lasted for all of five minutes. I took like five steps and immediately started throwing up. Yeah, I took more than five. She got to the end of the hall, <laughs> and it was kind of a dead end hall, or the door was shut or something. And we get down there, and Sarah um, immediately says, "I don't feel good." And we had she'd eaten some was it banana? A banana. Eat a eaten a banana once we got into the room, and she throws that banana up loudly because as soon as we were able to walk again and we turned the corner back towards the, the labor oh, yeah. delivery rooms, 
the nurses were like, <laughs> is that she out. okay? It's like, yep, she's just throwing up a little bit. She's fine. And then I proceeded to throw up. <laughs> and then she proceeded to throw up some more. That was one thing I did not expect with labor, was the throwing up. So, a few throwing up incidences in the hall, and then we got back into the room. We labored in there on peanut balls, birth balls, on a chair, on a stool. On a bar, or in the, in the bed with a bar. Yeah, all over the place. The hospital was very, uh, was very good about, they had a lot of options and things like that. It wasn't just a lay down and you're done type yeah. of situation. Yeah, it was natural friendly, which is one of the reasons we chose it and my OBGYN. Um, the contractions got stronger, closer together. He's eating my phone. <laughs> And they were they were happening like uh, it was every few seconds. It yeah. got to where they were very very frequent, and um, we knew it was it was happening. But it was getting close. You know, we labored. You labored for seven hours. Seven. Uh, yes, they were seven hours total. And and th this is getting around noon. You know, around lunchtime, uh, the the time that we were expecting Sarah's mom to arrive. Her mom had sent me a text and said her flight was delayed and she wasn't going to get in till later, till about 4 o'clock. So I made the decision not to share that information with Sarah because we think that on some level she was subconsciously... Oh, he's calling you! <laughs> me? Why'd you do that? Yeah, you got to the emergency thing. Well, that's neat. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're a smart boy. So we think that on some level she was subconsciously waiting for her mom to get here to before she had the baby and they had checked me probably an hour before and I was already at a six and that was shortly after we got there like I progressed to a six pretty quickly from when we arrived. everything happened very fast because then they checked you I think you said you were ready to push yeah I felt like I needed to push and so the doula asked them to check me again and I was at a 10 and she was at a 10 it was time and they said this is happening now and so we you know they they let you push for a little while before the, the horde of people come into the room and the ceiling drops and all the lights come in. Um, so Sarah pushed for a little while. And then, uh, I guess the people came in at a certain point. Yeah, I guess the doctor could tell that it was getting closer and closer. I pushed for probably about an hour and a half, two hours. Pushing was the hardest part, I think, of the whole process. I couldn't quite figure it out and couldn't figure out my breathing. So I pushed for a long time and I, we think I pushed for so long because I was waiting for my mom to get there. I wanted her to be there for the birth. But then finally, <laughs> this is probably the funniest part. Everyone is calm and quiet because the doula had set up this environment and they're being very nice to me. Okay, we're going to push. I want you to breathe through it. Breathe in, breathe out. And nothing is happening. Nothing ha is happening. And then at one point towards the very end, Jacob gets down in my face. And he's like, all right, it's time to do this. You're gonna push this baby out. And he gets real aggressive. And normally I don't take well to that, but that was apparently what I needed at the time. <laughs> and so I was like, okay. So he started hollering at me basically. And, and this is when it arrived. Boom. I'm in, and shortly after at 2.19 p.m. 2.19 p.m. I got to cut the cord. <laughs> which I had not planned on doing originally. Uh, I don't, I did a lot of things I didn't plan on doing through this process. Cause I get, I get a little queasy, I'm not gonna lie. I he, can admit he that. He passes out when he gets his blood drawn. So they put the baby on Sarah's chest and we did delayed cord cutting. So when it was time, they were like, dad cut the cord. They just handed me the scissors. And so I was like, okay. And I just cut it, you know, didn't, didn't really think about it. So that was a neat experience that I had not planned on doing, but was glad that I got to do. So my water broke at 6.45, he was born at 2.19. It was about a seven hour labor, which is awesome for a first time mom. She just shot that baby right out. <laughs> uh, because he was considered late preterm at 35 weeks, six days, they had a lot of folks from the NICU in the room and they wanted to check him and to make sure he was okay. He didn't need any NICU time or any special attention. And they checked him out. He didn't, he was totally fine just early. 
He was seven pounds, three ounces. He was ready. For a month early, he was seven pounds, three ounces. Does this look like a preemie baby? <laughs> so, and he had been measuring big my whole pregnancy. Our, my doctor said that he would probably be nine pounds when he was born. He would be nine pounds when he was born if he was born for a full term. So he was totally fine and healthy and happy. And we were just completely surprised. That was my number one feeling from when he, once he was finally here. We are so surprised that it happened. I think yeah. I even cursed a little bit. Thrilled to have him. We just couldn't believe that he was actually here. But it was a, a, a really, really good experience. Uh, everybody at the hospital was great. Um, they, they, we got the golden hour. They let us, uh, they let, we did a skin to skin, and they and they left us alone. Uh, well, as alone as they could. Alone, as long as alone as they could. Yeah. Every now and then, it was like, let's. We want to. He's biting my knee <laughs> <laughs> and yanking my leg hairs. <laughs> he's got leg hair grips on both sides, and he's biting down my knee. I love you. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, after that, we we loaded up a cart and put Sarah in a wheelchair with the baby and they wheeled us down to our room and we recovered for the next two days next two days it was but it was a really special experience that happened a month before it was supposed to and we were able to do it all naturally which was what was important to us no pain medication <laughs> after even after they kept trying to offer me Tylenol because I had a um, second degree laceration I was like no I'm good I did that whole thing without any medicine. I don't need any now. <laughs> Are you sure? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. And now we have this. I love Miracle Baby. <laughs> Who's happy? So we know that was kind of a long story. We get a little rambly, but we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Give me and a thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to click the button so that you uh, get all the alerts when we post new other videos. And tell us in the comments about your birth, if yes. you had a natural or C-section or whatever. Yes, yeah, so do you have any interesting birth, birth experiences? Or if your baby was early. Yeah, anything. Hopefully your baby was okay if it was early. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.